The toolkit that I'm talking about is called the No Code Architects Toolkit. This is a completely free tool. It's a full free API that will allow you to transcribe video. You can do advanced video manipulation, like concatenating videos together, pulling out clips, cropping videos, making images from videos. You can add fancy captions to videos. Let's go ahead and install this toolkit. I'm going to use a platform called DigitalOcean. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and I'm going to create a new app. Once you go to create your app, you're going to come down here and select container image, and we're going to use the Docker Hub platform. You can cut and paste what I'm putting right here into this repository. And then for the image tag, you're going to want to type latest, then you'll move on to next. Now for the size here, I'm going to go ahead and adjust this. And I'm going to move the containers down to one. And for the instance size, I'm going to go ahead and create a larger server here. There's all these other features inside of the toolkit that sometimes need a bit more resources. So you'll need to experiment with this a bit to see what the smallest size is. But for now, I'm just going to go with the $50 a month. Now we do need to set a few environment variables. I need to come over here to the spaces object storage. So I'm just going to open this up in a new tab. So I'm going to go ahead here. I'm going to create a new bucket. I'll go ahead and leave it in New York. I'm going to leave that off. We're going to give this a name. We're going to go ahead and leave it in the API's project. And we'll go ahead and create a spaces bucket. First, I'm going to come here to the settings. And here we're going to create some access keys. I'm going to come back here. We're going to add an environment variable. The first one I'm going to add is API underscore key. Now make sure you spell things just as I do with an underscore and not a dash and don't put spaces before or after here or over here. It will definitely cause a problem. Pay close attention to what I do here to avoid issues in the future. Test one, two, three. Then I'm going to go ahead and add an additional variable. In this key, I'm going to put S3 endpoint URL. So now I'm going to come back to our bucket and I'm going to grab this URL here. I'm going to copy it and add it right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and add an environment variable. For this one, we need to add the S3 access key. Again, remember no spaces before or after you're going to have issues. I'm going to jump back here. I'm going to go ahead and create access keys. In this case, I'm going to give it full access. I'm going to create the access keys. They're going to create right here. So first I'm going to grab the access key and come back here. We're going to add that right here. Then I'm going to add an additional variable. We're going to add S3 secret key. Now we're going to come back to our bucket. We're going to copy the secret key here. So we'll drop that value right here. And we're going to add another variable. This is going to ask for the S3 bucket name, YouTube video demo. We'll drop that in right here. We'll go ahead and add one more variable. This time we're going to add S3 region. And for this, it should be NYC3. And you can verify that right here from the URL. We don't need to do any app level environment variables. This should be fine. For the region, you can go ahead and use San Francisco and you can select the project that you had created earlier. So from here, I'm going to go ahead and say create app. So what that's going to do is it's going to go to Docker Hub, which is where we compile all of this code into an image that we can download into our DigitalOcean server so that we can then use that and deploy into DigitalOcean.